Can I just say that y'all deserve a medal for watching me for this long? Like, I'm pretty sure I should have pissed 50 of you off by now. But a good majority is still sticking around. Kudos to y'all. Readers, if you're watching this on the day of its release, then you'll be interested to know that today is the 32nd birthday of the Motion Picture Association of America's rating of PG-13. And for this Readers Relives, I want to reflect on how this rating came to be and my first experiences with it. But let's start with the former, because it is a doozy. Now before its addition, there were only four rating systems, G, PG, R, and X. And no, I'm not going to explain what these ratings mean. You're old enough to know what they are. And honestly, if you don't know what these ratings mean, all that means is that you were just raised by a bad parent. And motherfucker, I'm only 27 years old. If you're looking for somebody to spoon feed you elementary ass knowledge, I am not the one. But I wouldn't really call this upcoming factoid elementary knowledge. I would call it irony. <laughs> Because two movies in the 1980s specifically caused an uproar regarding too much violence in PG titles in order for the PG-13 rating to even be entertained. And both movies were projects that involved Steven Spielberg, Gremlins, which he executive produced, and Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom, which he directed. Oh, that's right, readers. The most family-friendly-ass director we have come to grow up with was responsible for the complaining that PG titles had too much gore in the 80s. And I personally find that funny because they thought that the priest of a Hindu goddess ripping the still-beating heart of a living man's ribcage was going too far. But only three years prior, they were perfectly fine exposing children to this. So is it alright if I just reuse the bad parenting joke? Because... So after deciding that there should be a rating system between PG and R to shut up dumb people, by none other than Steven Spielberg, the PG-13 rating system was born on this day, July 1st, 1984. Now what makes a movie PG-13? Violence and blood, which studios loophole the fuck out of to avoid an R rating by not making that shit red. Swearing, which I think the fuck allowance per movie is only like one nowadays. Substance abuse, nudity, and some sexual content. And my first PG-13 movie? Well, it just so happened to be my very first movie, Tim Burton's Batman. So yeah, this rating system is stupid, especially when motherfuckers don't even pay attention to it from the get-go. I went to go see the remake of A Nightmare on Elm Street one Friday afternoon, and mothers were bringing their elementary school age kids to go see the bitch. Six to 10 year olds. The fuck? Readers, I lived most of my childhood on PG-13 movies with proper parental guidance that needed it. Movies like Ghost, Jurassic Park, That's It, I think. Everything else I was exposed to was fucking tame. And readers, I'm not saying that the rating isn't necessary. All I'm saying is that the PG-13 rating is a bit overrated. I kinda hate myself a little bit now. And I was having such a good day. So readers, your homework assignment for the day. Write in the comment section below some movies you grew up with that you thought both deserved and didn't deserve its PG-13 rating. And make sure you subscribe to the channel because unlike the PG-13 rating, I get to say the word fuck on my channel whenever I want, bitch. Anyway, this is Readers 101. Class dismissed.